Hi there, this is Dan at Highlander Brewing Supply and today we're going to talk about how using aluminum kettle can make you a better brewer. Uh, I know a lot of people when they first start out brewing they read books and some books talk about the importance of using stainless steel and stainless can be fine if you get a good quality pot. Uh, problem with stainless is it's just steel. It doesn't transfer heat real effectively. Here's one of the pots that we've just taken on in our stainless line. This is a 38 quart pot, almost 10 gallons, and it weighs 14 pounds because it has this massive thick base. The base is steel on both sides with a big thick frisbee of aluminum in the bottom. And that aluminum's in there, why? Because steel does not transfer heat effectively. If you brewed with a kegel or seen somebody do it, you know that you're always playing with the fire, trying to get the, the, the temperature just right. It's problematic. However, as you noticed, looking at our site, we sell a lot of aluminum kettles. Why aluminum? Well, because they're, we use a, a big, heavy, thick 3 sixteenths of an inch on the side walls, uh, just under a quarter of an inch uh, on the base. It's a big, heavy, this is my old pot that I brew with all the time. Uh, they're, 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 they're lighter, oddly, than steel, because <laughs> aluminum is lighter, but they're thick, they're heavy, uh, they transfer heat beautifully. You know, we, uh, we put the thermometer fitting right roughly in the middle where your wart's going to be, so with a little stir, you'll get an absolute, uh, you know, as, as close a perfect reading as you can with your thermometer what the actual temperature is. When you start to brew more, uh, you become more of a veteran, you're going to realize that it's not so much the pot, it's the temperature. you got to hit your marks. you got to hit, especially if you're doing a step mash, man, you got to be right on. If you're missing your temperature by 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 degrees, you know, because your vessel is fighting you, you're just not going to have a lot of luck. So, uh, the thing about aluminum is when you first get it, uh, you do a water boil, full water boil, and then that conditions the pot, and that creates an oxidized layer inside the pot, which you can see there, it gets all kind of brown. I brew a lot of porters and stouts, and I really think they, they get better as the pot gets older. Um, so that oxidate, oxidation, oxidation level uh, layer inside the pot is between the, the pot and your wart. So there's no effect from the aluminum. You're not going to grow a third eye or anything like that, but you're going to be able to hit your temperatures, and it's not going to fight you. It's, it's like this kettle is going to be your ally, where a lot of times stainless kind of fights you. So there's that. That's why brewing in aluminum, not only is it a little less expensive than stainless, it can help you be a better brewer. This is Dan at Highlander Brewing Supply. Thanks very much.